Wow. Look at it, Juggies. Overachievers. The game. Rule 19. All this stuff. Psycho series. Just a memory now on a wall. 100k play button to commemorate 100,000 Juggies. It is a special day. Hey there, Jays. Your old pal, me, Jarrett's here. Where the hell is my million subscriber play button? <laughs> I, I, I actually genuinely don't know where that is anymore. That is, that's probably not good. Um, I, I think I, I hope it's under Jeffrey's bed. I could be mistaken. But guys, it is a special day today. I'm feeling a little better. My hair is up. It is my 10 year anniversary on YouTube and we're gonna have a little reflection time. It's gonna be nostalgic, it's gonna be trippy. It's gonna be a little low key relaxed, not some crazy montage. This is a day where it's just for me to reflect on the last 10 years because that's a long time. That's a long time to be doing anything, to be committed to any possible concept only one thing, 10 years. Um, I'm gonna talk about me starting YouTube, me experience, I'm gonna be talking about YouTube a lot and just how it's evolved over the last 10 years and then I'm gonna be talking about myself and how I've evolved with it in the last 10 years, why I got started, why I kept going, why I'm still going today, what the future looks like. Um, and for those of you guys aspiring to be YouTubers or just interested in my story or interested in what YouTube used to look like and maybe there's something you could learn from this, I think it's gonna be pretty cool and I can't wait. Before we get into that guys, I hate to talk your off about this stuff, but I know a lot of you guys enjoyed uh, hearing about video blocks. Um, some of my fellow filmmakers and YouTubers out there were interested in the service, so I'm just gonna suggest this other service as well. That's right guys, this video is sponsored by Graphic Stock, which is actually owned by the same company as Video Blocks. Thank you guys for sponsoring my 10 year anniversary. That's awesome. Graphic Stock actually has the largest unlimited download library across the web with over 300,000 photos, vectors, graphics, you name it. So you can have custom thumbnails if you wanna make some BS colorblind video where, oh, seeing color for the first time. Suddenly everybody's colorblind, let's clickbait it. Or if you wanted to do a video where you wanted to clickbait with some women in a hot tub, you can do that as well. Guys, they have all kinds of images to suit your needs. So as a YouTuber, as a filmmaker, it's cool to have cool images to, to get people in and watching your content. And I mean, you could also just use these images for anything and they're royalty free guys. So once again, you don't have to worry about getting sued or anything. Most websites actually charge you like $30 per image for a commercial project, which is pretty ridiculous. So the fact that graphic stock only charges you a membership fee that you pay once a year, that's pretty exciting. Now it's usually $99 a year to sign up. However, my friends over there at G stock have hooked me up with a $49 off code. So you guys guys can get a full year subscription for 50 bucks. You can find that link in the description below or check out www.graphicstock.com slash holidays. Now that I got that out of my system, Juggies, it's time to go back to 2006 when I first started YouTube. Woo! It is a nipply. Juggies had to get a hoodie on. I've had this hoodie, I think, for 10 years too. <laughs> guys, uh, wow. 2006, that is a long ass time ago. I was well, I was 14 at the time. I believe I was 8th uh, grade. Yeah, 8th grade, maybe going into high school, freshman year. Oh, what a freaking loser. I remember I saw YouTube.com, and I was like, oh, you, you know, I've, I've seen a few cat videos. And I know that's, like, the stereotype, and it's like everybody uses that same joke. It's like, it's cat videos. That's literally what was on the website. It was fucking cat videos, and, like, the odd, um, I don't even know what you'd call it. There's just weird shit on it. Needless to say, I was always intrigued by YouTube, and I was like, oh, you can upload videos here. That's interesting. Prior to this time period, when I was like eight or nine, I would hang out with my brother and his friends and they would ask me to film skateboarding videos. They would just have me hold the camera. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm here anyway, not really skateboarding, so I guess I can hold the fucking camera. So that kind of was in the back of my mind when I was uh, looking at YouTube.com and I was like, hey, well, I think it'd be cool if I made some videos. I was also really big into video games. I loved Halo at the time and there was this thing called Red vs. Blue 
Blue from Rooster Teeth, which was this episodic series using Halo Machinima, which I thought was freaking awesome. I was a huge fan of like Lost and other TV shows, so I was like, hey, that'd be cool if, I don't know, I uh, just freaking got a capture card thing and and started doing some Halo videos, and they were, they were horrible. Like, you go back and watch it. Like, I'm not going to do a clip show right now to, so I don't embarrass myself. No, I'm actually totally comfortable with every video I've ever made. Um, the real thing is, is just like, I don't like editing, <laughs> and I've done so many montages of, like, my history that, like, I know, I know my history to death, and I'll, I'll explain why shortly. But yeah, I was making Halo videos, and it was like, oh, this is, this is pretty shitty, but I enjoyed doing it. I liked it. There's a few here, odd comments here and there, and it was fun, and it's still fun. For 10 years, it's been the one thing that I still really enjoy doing. Like, there's been things in my life that have come and went, and I liked it for a couple years, and then I don't. Hell, even Halo, I love it to death, but Halo 4 and 5, and then it just slowly wanes. But YouTube, if anything, I just feel like it's been increasing. To be able to say that about something is, I think, really special, and I think you guys have definitely helped that a lot. But yeah, YouTube, for me, has, for the last 10 years, it's always been a good time, and um, that's been that was why I started it it was curiosity and just so I could make a video and for people to watch it granted not many people watched it then but for me it was a way to express myself I was a fairly quiet kid and I felt like I had a lot to prove as a younger brother and I just wanted I wanted to be noticed and when I did these videos I felt oh, I can kind of vent through them and creatively express myself, even if nobody clicked on that shit, I still felt better about myself and I, I felt accomplished. And I think that is what always has, has kept me going. Eventually, I realized Halo wasn't my thing. I started getting into to real life videos and, and those were, it's great. <laughs> there were some really funny ones. It was just, you know, like you'd hang out with your friends. Some people would go out drinking, partying, whatever. I'm talking, yeah, even in high school, at least around East Bumble. That's what we going on. But this was something that me and my friends could do and have a good time doing. And we were also getting something done. We were getting something to show from the night. It's like, hey guys, we all hung out this day. And we also have this video to remember it by. And it always would stick with us. So it was great, you know, to do some of the old series, to tell those stories and, and do it with your friends. And it was all very innocent. It was a good time. No money was involved, so things were really simple, and uh, everybody got along, and it was great. Then everybody gets their own lives, and, you know, it, it changed. And it's been changing just as YouTube has been changing. I'm sorry if this seems, this is almost like a boogie rambling video right now, which I love it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about YouTube, how YouTube has changed. It's like, it, you know, YouTube was really awesome when it first started. I'm not saying it's not now. It's, it's had... It had to progress, you know, it had to go somewhere, and it will continue to progress. I'm a little fearful of where it's going, because I think where it's inevitably heading is towards television, and seeing how television is, it's very regulated, it's very structured, and I like, I like how YouTube is where it's not that. It's more of a wild, wild west. I really enjoy that aspect of it, and creators can be very creative. Um, once things get more regulated, along with the internet, then things, oh, what the fuck, is that a giant spider? Holy shit. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be in this position for the remainder. <laughs> anyway, uh, like I was saying, don't hurt me, please. Ew, why do you look like that? Like, what made you? YouTube, I am just, I am fearful where it's going. I mean, even just the video with me and Pickle Boy fighting just got demonetized. I'm sorry, but no blood was drawn. You know, it was basically wrestling. I mean, we never started punching each other, and that got demonetized. It's had over a million views. It's like a 30 minute video, but just for that little segment, it is demonetized. So that, to me, is scary. And especially, I put in an appeal, and I'm a fairly larger YouTube, so the fact that they don't really care 
is frightening to me. The fact that I had three psycho videos demonetized and, and just how things are going. And I'm sure you've personally re, uh, read or watched recently about how YouTube is, uh, you know, removing subs when people are releasing videos and, and the trending section is, is being bought out. And I truly believe that too. And it's like things are happening with YouTube Red. You know, you start to feel it's starting to get very corporate. And ah, I don't like it compared to where it started and where it's heading. It's like there's only one place it can go. And we've seen we've seen a lot of changes on YouTube. Just like I mean, it used to be a place where where skits were popular and creativity reigned. And 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 now it's just like it's very clickbaity. It's very um, it's very if you don't clickbait, you're not going to stand out. You're not going to be seen. It's very saturated. It's it's very very dog eat dog. YouTubers attacking other YouTubers. It's it's very crazy right now. Um, and it's just not the landscape it was years ago. I think this is just where it's at and, and probably where it's heading. It's going to be an interesting uh, 2017, I'm sure. That's YouTube. I mean, granted, when YouTube first started, you couldn't get paid for this stuff. So there's definitely been great changes. The fact that I can do this for a living is mind-blowing. Um, so let's let's get back to, to my personal story. All right, I might legit have to kill this thing because it's starting to creep up towards me. If you constantly see me like out of the corner of my eye, I am watching this thing like a hawk, like an eagle. All right, you guys, okay, cool. I think we're good now. The thing has went under the chair. <laughs> so I was doing my videos for funsies, you know, got out of high school, went to college, got my film degree, it was whatever. I was going to make the leap out to LA, but then some psycho stuff took off and I found my window of opportunity and I clung onto that as much as I could. I still looked over, you see? <laughs> and I made the psycho series and you guys found me and it took eight years, eight years of YouTube till I even had over a, a thousand or two thousand subscribers before I was even making any money. So that's a lot of dedication and by no means does that mean you guys have to put that much time in it to be successful. I just suck. It, you guys, I've seen people do it in a couple months and, and get a million subs. It's happening all the time now. I do think it was a lot harder to grow then, but that's besides the point. I also never really tried to grow. It was more just, I made it for me. Like I was saying before, I made these things for me to express myself creatively. It was never about getting views. What really got me going was I'd say I'd make an episode of the game, which was a series before your guys' time. Maybe you went back and watched it, but a lot of it's copywritten now. That series took three years and that thing had my heart and uh, we put a lot of work into it and I would have a premiere I would have a premiere night every episode. So episode one, the, se the series premiere would come out and I'd have my family, we'd all gather around, we'd watch it around the computer with the lights off, 10 minutes, boom, and I'd love to gauge their reactions. That was enough for me. I didn't care if it got 10 views, 20 views, 30 views, that had been great. But just to have that, to see their reactions and to know that I created that and I expressed myself a story that I wanted to share, something that I was struggling with or that I was feeling and I could get it out there into the world without you know feeling weird or uncomfortable about it, that was awesome. That's a win. That's why I do this stuff. So then when it got to the point where I graduated college, I owed $70,000. I didn't have that money. I wanted to be in Hollywood telling stories and stuff and then I realized, yo, PewDiePie made how much? This person made how much money? And this is a few years ago, so it wasn't even like at its peak. I was like, oh, people are making money off this. Shit, let me give it a, a better shot. And then I got the brain injury, and I think a lot of you guys know this stuff, but um, I remember my faith was pretty broken because I quit my job at the bank, and um, I went YouTube full-time, and I started doing videos every day, and then I got this really bad brain injury a weekend, and I thought, well, that was it. I guess this was not meant to be. I just gave myself a traumatic brain injury. I should give up. It is not in the cards for Jesse Ridgway. This has been a pipe dream. My parents were right. My dad was right. That's right. I said my dad was right. Yeah, there's a lot of truth to everything, guys. I was like, okay, my family's right. This is just ludicrous. I should probably get a real job. I should probably go back to working at the bank or the plumbing shop or mow lawns for my dad or... I don't know, hate myself for a bit. And so I was like a vegetable for my final semester in college until I was like, you know what? Let's do another one of these stupid freak out video. And then boom, they take off and then boom, a series, whoa, crazy. 
Uh, and that's a full journey, and guys, the documentary is the only thing I think that can do that justice, as well as behind the scenes, because that, that's a lot better than me just trying to say it, because there's a like, couple years worth of time that you guys don't know what real Jesse was doing or going through, um, so I think, and don't worry guys, I know, I promise it, it's coming, it's coming, it's finally coming. But when that happened, um, YouTube for me has changed, and my relationship with videos has changed, uh, and I cannot thank you guys enough for finding me and giving me this opportunity to make content for you guys. I still, see before when I used to make content, I used to make it for myself to express myself creatively. Now it's not really the case anymore. Now I do it for you guys. And that has changed the product. Like if you look at my videos a few years ago and you look at my videos now, they're very different. Um, obviously I wasn't doing daily videos. I think that's probably the thing I hate most and it's nothing against you guys. I know you guys want to keep me updated regularly, but I'll be honest. There's a lot of days I wake up and I, and I want to put content out for you guys, but I'm like, I'm not feeling very motivated. I don't have a good idea. It's very difficult to, you know, consistently come up with creative ideas, ones that I feel passionate about that I think you guys also share that same passion. So that's really one of the biggest change changes that has happened and, and one that I've been struggling with. And I know I'm not required to do daily videos. I just know if I don't, I hear a lot. And I don't know how some YouTubers are, but like just giving you the honest truth is like, I value every single one of your guys' opinions probably to my detriment where like, you know, some people want new series. Some people want real life videos. Some people want challenges. Some people want pranks. Some people want, you know, um, some more streams. And, you know, that's a struggle. That's a struggle. I, I, I take everything in into consideration and then I'm like, well, what the f do you want? What do you want? And it's very difficult. You know, I have one of the broadest demographics out there. Um, I have ages like four to 80. And that's no exaggeration. I've seen it. I've seen it all through fan mail and tweets and emails. It is a crazy range. So to come up with content that satisfies all of those and then also makes myself happy because it's a it's a very uh, very stressful, very stressful stuff. But um, I wouldn't change it for the world. And don't think I'm complaining. It's just uh, it's nice to voice how things have changed over the years as a creator. The things that I always come back to are the stories and um we've we've jumped around a lot from story to story to story series to series to series and it gets a little confusing but guys just know that like i'm so excited for 2017 like you don't even know that character is such a good character i cannot wait i mean there's a slew of character i cannot wait for 2017 to get here it, it's almost like I'm banking all my energy and all my productivity and genius and everything. I'm saving it for 2017. Because to be honest, I thought I would have a break by now. <laughs> I thought the doc would be out by now and I could release behind the scenes and take a chill pill so I could start really writing and flushing this thing out. I've been writing regardless, but I thought I would have a little more time so I could dedicate to this thing. Because to tell, a, tell stories daily is not an easy task. And, you know, I do do everything myself. I write, I film, I edit, I act. And, and that's saying a lot. Um, it's... <laughs> I love, I do love this. This is just great. I love you guys. This is cool. I can't believe I get to do this for a living. And, and I think that's why I, I, I do get scared that I, um, it's not going to be the case someday. That's probably why I beat myself up so much um, and, and try to take everyone's opinion into consideration. But uh, it's a lot. A lot goes through your brain. <laughs> I remember when I was... <laughs> I remember when I was at a smaller sub count, I was like, oh, I so desperate. I remember when I did my 250K motivational speech. You guys can check out that video. It's one of my favorite videos I've made. Uh, Jesse was feeling it, dude. I was going off. I was like, 250K. I was like, we are going to take over YouTube and we're going to be strong. We're going to ride that bike down the hill and we're we're not gonna stop pedaling. Jesse was going off. I was like a motivational speaker that day. And... <laughs> And I had no clue what I even wanted. See, that Jesse, I was like, yo, we got numbers, bitch. We're going big. We're going to have a million subs. And I'm going to make a lot of money. And you're going to watch it and love it. And it's like, 
Dude, dude, you don't get it. You don't get it. Here's the thing that I would love to tell myself for a few years ago um, from Jesse now. Nothing changes. <laughs> and I, I'll tell you that to you guys um, that are that are aspiring YouTubers that, that think of me as this big YouTuber. Oh, I'm a normal guy. Nothing changes. Your life does not change. Yeah, you might have a little bit more money. Yeah, you might have followers and subscribers and stuff. But you personally, you're still the same. And that's one thing I wish I understood. I thought like, I thought like, oh, yo, once I get a million subs, or once I get two million, once I get, I'll be like, I'll be, I don't know. I don't know what you really think. I'll be, I'll be perfect. I'll be happy. I'll be, I'll be everything. But the truth is, you still end up being the same person, and the daily grind, the, the things that you're doing, are exactly the same. <laughs> the only difference is, I guess you have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of security, you have a, a few notches in your belt at this point, but you still need and want more, it just never ends, it's just crazy guys, it's a never ending gauntlet. <laughs> So uh, I, I, I told myself to, uh, that I would get back to this point, but why I didn't make a montage or have a bunch of old clips and everything, why I didn't feel the need to do that because I've done it so many times, I know my history. And why do I know my history so well? It's because as a YouTuber and a creator, I always want to be original. I want to be, I want to make my own path. I don't want to, you know, be, I don't want to be one of those clickbaity, like go with the trends, whatever, you know, it's, it's very hard to, to not do that because you need to do that to stay relevant and get the views. But at the same time, I have to just keep reminding myself, I'm like, Jesse, what, what, what do you, what do you care about more? The fact that the psycho series exists or that you, you had a video that got 10 million views. I'm happy that the Psycho series existed, not because it had a lot of views, but because it mattered a lot. It mattered a lot to me, it mattered a lot to my family, it mattered a lot to my friends, and it mattered a lot, mattered a lot to you guys. And that's, that's what I gotta keep going back to, is that kind of content that resonates with people, it has an emotional impact, a story, some substance, and some characters, and that's what I wanna work on, and that's what I wanna work on going forward, and if there's ever a lack in production of videos or you just don't see stuff coming or you got a video like this which seems pretty damn boring and it's just Jesse talking and he does a brain deal in the beginning of it, just know that's because I'm kind of in like a little cocoon phase. I need to rest, relax, until I get ready for the next big thing. Um, but yeah, anyway, gosh, I keep, I, I keep missing my point. I know my past so well because I, I need to remember that and hold on to it because... I need to never forget why I got into this. And that is the creative expression behind it all. And that's why I do this. I, I have these, you know, deep rooted feelings that I know a lot of people have and share. And I know a lot of people are struggling out there. And, and I know why so many people love the psycho series. I understand that. I understand the psychology behind that. And, I'm trying to really tap into that and put it into future projects so that something out there, something that I create can help you guys and uh, you can relate to a character and see how they deal with things and, and, and think about that. And so that's, that's Jesse's YouTube in 10 years. It's, it's wild. It's crazy, dude. 10 years. Like I, it's not even, it doesn't even register. It's just another day. It's like when I turn 24, it's like, well, cool, man. Now what? You're still the same. And it kind of goes back to what I was saying. It's still the same. It's still the same stuff. And you know what? It still gets me excited. And, and that's what I keep holding on to it is follow what gets you excited. If it gets you a little bit nervous, excited, that's a good sign. I guess to conclude all this, thank you, Juggy, so much for watching this video, for supporting me over the years, for going back and watching my old content. I never in a million years, when I made the game and it was getting like 200 views, 300 views, I never thought people years later would go back and watch it and now each episode has like thousands of views. I mean, that 
That means so much to me. You have no idea. I cannot thank you guys enough for supporting me and my content. And um, it's been an incredible 10 years. I know you just found me in the last one or two. But what do you say we have at least another good five years? Would you stick around for five more years? I promise I won't get stale. I'm going to be trying to innovate. All right? Or even 10 years. It's just, I know I'll last. The question is, will YouTube last? I know I'll be always creating in some capacity. Um, and I just hope you guys follow me. Thank you guys so much for everything. If you want to go back and watch some of my old videos, like if there's ever a day where you're just bored or you want to learn more about me or see where I've come from, go go check my old skits and old series and stuff. And you may enjoy that. If you like some of the stuff you've seen recently, you may like that stuff. I don't know. All right, Jays. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I think tomorrow we'll see Parker again and we'll get back to living my life because I've been somewhat of a hermit the last couple of days. I felt like, sh but the hair is up now. It's a momentous occasion. I'm feeling a little better. I should probably go upstairs and get warm because it is freezing down here. And it's, where's that spider at? Anyways, I love you, Jays of Death. Cheers. The 10 years on YouTube. And don't forget, let's pretend it's a drink, but it's not, to keep it rigid.